Spaghetto here and welcome back to Doki Doki Outcast. I do apologize for the delay. I had a pretty nasty cold that turned into a fever, so I'm kind of still recovering from that. And forgive me if I'm tired in this video. I slept about five hours last night, but I still want to keep my word and post this on Wednesday. So without further ado, let's just jump back into it with our legs. By the way, to clarify, I'm not feverish right now, so please don't worry about me. I'm just tired. <laughs> no, I'll be fine. <clears throat> Time to shred my voice into atoms. Gone. Reduced to atoms. All I was doing was just defending my... Okay. Yuri was just trying to change. No, she wasn't. I quietly exited the classroom while the whammons settled their argument. This got bad so quickly. I need to find Yuri. I hope she's okay. <laughs> I hope Yuri is okay, you know. I walk out in the corridor with my legs. Where could she have gone? I start walking in a random direction. Gently! I'm calling out to Yuri. Yuri! Yuri, where are you? There's no response. I keep walking down the corridor. As I'm about to turn the corner, I see Yuri in my side view. She's sitting on a bench, hunched over, her hands covering her face. Oh no, she's crying with her eyeballs. I notice that her poem is on the ground. It's crumpled up into a ball. She must have done it out of embarrassment. I pick it up and gently open it. Yuri. Sobbing noises. Okay, I've been over this before. Since I give Yuri a British accent, I give her a British accent because tea. British people like tea. It's a stereotype. I don't care. I'm sorry. But that's why I, I, I give Yuri British accent, because I also think British people sound smart. So how do British people cry? Do they go like, oh no, you spilled the me crumpets, I am sad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to approach a situation like this. I never dealt with a girl crying before. Hey, Yuri, sad noises. Yuri looks at me, tears streaming down her face. She tries to say something, but words don't come out. It must be difficult for her. Oh, hi, Noodle Man. Are you okay, Yuri? Yuri shakes her head with her neck. There's silence for a moment. Natsuki's right, isn't she? Huh? She's right about my poetry, isn't she? Maybe it's not as great as I once thought. No, Yuri, your poetry isn't bad at all. I don't even think Natsuki meant what she said. And I'm sure you didn't mean the things you said, or either. We were all under a little pressure today, so some of us might have been a little more critical than others. I think you're a great at poetry, Yuri. You don't have to try and cheer me up, Noodle Man. I know it's not great. N no, I'm, I'm serious. Really? Of course. Yuri, you have a lot of talent for writing. You have a unique writing style. One that I don't see very often. You don't see writing styles very often because you don't flip and read, you idiot. You even influenced my writing. Uh, I, I did? Yeah. It wouldn't have turned out as great as <laughs> if it wasn't for you. I was also thinking back to when we were reading today. I didn't enjoy reading that much until you came along. I always felt that I always felt that what we read in class was so lackluster and monotonous. I agree. It wasn't the most enjoyable material. But it was you, Yuri, who helped me change my mind. You've taught me so much about literature and it's only been my second day. I still have a lot to learn, but you are one of the reasons I want to keep learning. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yuri looks at me again with her eyeballs. Do you? Do you really mean that, Noodle Man? I couldn't be more certain. Yuri wipes away her tears. She smiles with her mouth. Wow. I never imagined that my writing could influence someone. It's very flattering. Here. I hand Yuri back her poem. Keep this. Don't think anything less of it. You should be proud. Yuri takes the poem from my hands. Thank you. Noodle Man. 
That means a lot. You're welcome. We both are silent. I think I did okay, but we're not finished. Maybe we should head back to the club. We can talk with everyone else and settle this. I... I agree. Yuri gets up from the bench with her legs, and we walk back to the classroom with our legs. We reach the classroom and enter with our legs. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, as we enter, the rest of the girls are standing there waiting for us. Hey guys! Yuri, are you alright? I am, thank you. Good, Natsuki? Natsuki looks over to Monica with her neck. Is there something you'd like to tell Yuri? She takes a deep breath. <laughs> Natsuki struggles to form her sentence. I wanted to say I'm sorry for what I said. I didn't really mean it. Your poetry is actually okay. I just took your criticism criticisms the wrong way, and I shouldn't have said those things. Even if it's not my favorite writing style, the symbolism can be very effective at grabbing the reader's attention. I think you excel at that. I accept your apology, Natsuki. And I'm sorry I didn't accurately describe your poem. I really wasn't trying to be hurtful. I think your writing is very effective, even if it's simple. No one achieves it as well as you do. Thanks. Are... are we still friends, Yuri? Nope. Be gone, small thingy. Yuri approaches Natsuki and hugs her with her arms. Still friends. Aww. <laughs> okay. That's the cute stuff right there. Not gonna lie. That's fine. I approve of this. I approve. Well, I can say that was a successful meeting. Monica walks over to me and whispers into my ear. Oh, dang. All right, I guess I gotta actually pretend that Monica walks over to me and whispers that in my ear. So, Monica does this. She walks over to me and whispers that in my ear. So, that was a pretty successful meeting. And then she walks back. Okay. Time to set my microphone back down. Boop. There we go. Thanks for talking to Yuri Noodle Man. You did good. No, thank you, Monica. Monica smiles at me with her mouth. It's the least I can do. We're a, cl we're a club, after all. That could have that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you have you heard of Act Two? Yeah, it goes a lot worse. I'm glad that Yuri and Natsuki settled their differences. We all continue chatting until the club finally ends. And hey, there's a train going by. That's awesome. I love trains. Okay. Okay, everyone! It's just about time for us to leave. I think the poem sharing went very well. And with that being said, I'd like to do the same thing for tomorrow. Oh boy, I can't wait for the fight to break out tomorrow. Who's going to lose some teeth? Maybe you learned something from everyone here, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself... Did I learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes? This means I can at least do a better job at improving my writing. I nod to myself with satisfaction. Noodle Man, I don't have to stay behind today. Do you want to walk home together? With our legs! Of course. Let's go! <laughs> Sayori beams at me with her laser eyes. It's been a while since Sayori and I have walked home together. She would normally stay behind for clubs. It's never been <laughs> it's never been a better time to start walking with her again. Hey Sayori, what ha what ab about what happened earlier? What do you mean? You know, the arguing between er Yuri and Natsuki. Does that happen often? No, no, not at all. That's a that's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. We have minor disagreements here and there, but nothing like what we witnessed earlier. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I was just curious, that's all. They seem like good people. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew! And that's a relief. I think everyone really likes you. 
that's... <laughs> Every day, I imagine a future where I can eat food. I mean... It's going to be so much fun. Well, <laughs> we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I would be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself, though. And that's great to hear. This is why you're so kind, little man. You gave the club a chance even though you were unsure about Lawyer at your club. You're the best. I feel like I'm blushing with my cheeks. Yeah, I think so. Thanks, Sayori. Tee hee. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Yep, see you tomorrow, little man. Sayori heads home. I walk to my front porch and open the door. Gently! Whew. What a day. I enter my house and go into the kitchen. I'm not too hungry, so I make a quick snack consisting of a glass of water and an apple. After I finish my snack, I head upstairs to my bedroom. Ah, yes, my chambers. Feeling inspired, I sit at my desk and start writing a poem for the next day. I learned a lot from reading everyone's poems, so hopefully the next one I write will turn out better. Poem time! Poem time! Here we go. Ah, yes, it took me less <laughs> It took me less time to think of something to write this time. Maybe I'm slowly getting better at this, who knows? I finish my poem and put it in my bag. It's still a little early for bed, so I decided to pull out the book Yuri gave me and continue reading. Ah, yes, we finally get to see MC reading at home. I honestly forgot how much fun reading was. My hobbies have pretty much always consisted of playing video games and reading mangoes. <sighs> it's a nice change, I'd say. As I read, my mind keeps going back to the club and its members. I close my eyes and think to myself. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Sayori, my best friend. She's a silly person, even a bit of an airhead. That, <laughs> that's why I adore her. Natsuki, the manga-loving, angry girl. She seems like she has a temper and is trying hard to impress others. But it seems like she has a, her heart in the right place. And then Monica, the confident and popular whammon. She really cares about the club and its members. Which brings me to... Yuri, the shy and timid one. She seems like such a great person despite being reserved. I enjoy spending time with Yuri and would like to know more about her. I'm dwelling on this, aren't I? Um, I should get some sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he probably should sleep. It's sleep time. Alright, Act 1, Chapter 3, Tea with Yuri. Oh, yes, Chapter 3 time. Alright, we're going to have tea with Yuri. This is going to be great. I'm going to drink so much tea with Yuri. Today's classes were pretty uneventful. Just catching up on some material for upcoming tests. I look over at the clock. Almost. The bell finally rings, and I walk out into the hall. Time for the club meeting. Oh boy, club time. Club time. I've gotten more comfortable ever since over the past couple days. I enter the club room and the usual scene greets me. Oh boy. Hi, noodle man. Hey, Sayori. You're in a good mood today, huh? <laughs> I'm still just getting used to you being in the club after all. <laughs> I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. It's always the simple things with you anyway. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Have fun today, needle man. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation. Yuri's reading her book. And Natsuki's in the closet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we all knew this. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to talk to Yuri again. I read a little. I read a little more of the book last night. Now things have gotten more interesting. I want to continue reading with her. I look behind. I look behind me and spot Yuri. I get up from my desk and walk over to her with my legs. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Uh. I suddenly noticed that Yuri's reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. Sorry, uh, I didn't mean to interrupt your reading. Ah, uh, no. I was kind of just waiting for you. Ah, uh, if that's the case, would you like to go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, little man, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all, Yuri. Thank you very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Would you like some as well? I mean, it's not too much trouble. I really enjoyed it last time. Yuri beams at me with her eyes. 
I can already tell she's very enthusiastic about our reading session. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small pitcher from the shelf, the kind with the filter inside. Could you hold this for a second? Sure. After Yuri hands me the water pitcher, she fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in, and then I'll go get some water. Sounds good. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts from her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Sure, here you are. I carefully hand Yuri the water pitcher. Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Sure, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah, let's go. Hmm? <laughs> All of a sudden, Monica appears from behind us, almost as if she was listening in on our conversation. It took me by surprise at first, but I remained calm. Where are you guys off to? Hopefully not to the bathroom to play lip guitar. <laughs> uh? Monica, I don't even know how to play the guitar, you goofball. Yuri was just going to make some tea before we started reading, so... It does sound strange having to explain this to Monica now that I have to think about it. We are just going to fill the water pitcher. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. <laughs> That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? <laughs> That's... Before I can finish my statement, Yuri interrupts with her mouth. Monica, would you please mind your own business for once? No, Yuri, I'm trying to like you. Stop. Please don't. No. Uh, no, stop it. Stop it. Sl I will smack you. Bad whammon. Okay, back to the corner with the purple hair dye for you. Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Noodle Man in club activities? Huh? I remain quiet, unable to say anything. Oh, I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Humph. Then let's go, Noodle Man. Uh... Yuri quickly exits the room, and I follow. Uh... Once in the hallway, Yuri suddenly presses her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri... I just... Something about the way she said that made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? You must think I'm a horrible person now. No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. No, it was not okay! Stop enabling her! Ah! No! 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 That's it. I'm ending this episode here. Ah! Angry! That's it. Bye, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and as always, stay safe. I actually I'm ending this episode early because I'm I'm really tired and I'm still recovering from a cold. So thank you for bearing with me and being patient as always. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, guys.